Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, y'all. It's a beautiful, sunshiny Thursday, and I'm on the stove, y'all. I got a good old pot of grits going here. They've been cooking about 15 minutes. I had to restart my video. That's why I'm so deep in to uh, what I'm doing. So what I did uh, was cook me a half a cup of grits, y'all. I haven't seasoned them up quite yet, except for a little bit of salt when I first started out uh just cook your grits according to your directions on the box based on how many grits you need to cook. I always do a cup and a half, I'm sorry, not a cup and a half, but a half a cup when I'm just cooking for myself and I always cook a little bit more just in case, you know, Kareem changes mind because he said he didn't want any or in case somebody stops by. That's my old way of doing stuff, not expecting nobody to stop by. We pretty much have shut it down over here. As far as, you know, visitations and all that kind of thing. Only other thing I do these grits before I eat them is to put some uh, milk in them. Also, I am cooking some pink salmon. Let me show you. I've already opened my salmon. And y'all missed out on that because I had to start the video. I used a 14-ounce can of Double Q pink salmon. Put them in this nice little bowl. Took that little soft bone out. I've got, um, and it's a 14 ounce can. I've got a half of a small onion, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and a um, just uh, about an eighth of a teaspoon of complete seasoning, and a couple of tablespoons of um, cornmeal. Or if you don't have cornmeal, you can use flour. So now. It is mixed up and ready to uh, just make into patties and go ahead and start frying them. And as you can see, I've got my oil over here on this side of the um, stove here. So we are, let's see. I'm getting one of those weird phone calls that spam stuff. I don't know what makes that thing come through while I'm trying to record. I wish there was something that you could do to stop it. So I hope it does not mess with my uh, recording here. It's still rolling, so we'll see. But anyway, I've got my oil already good and hot. And i got everything mixed up in here. Oh, I say, I didn't say the one egg. I have one egg in here as well. I don't think I said the egg. So this is sort of loose enough. And it's going to make me some nice salmon patties. Now, I didn't do the whole can because what I was saying, when I first opened that can of uh, salmon, I thought about when we were growing up as children, my mother used to make salmon salad. I don't know how many of y'all have even heard of it. But you do it just like you would do tuna. She would open a can of salmon. And for whatever reason, I guess salmon was less expensive than tuna uh, fish in the can back at that time. So I took part, just a little bit, just enough to make me some salmon salad with crackers. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Oops, I started too quick. Didn't I? Well, the size of my patties are going to be just about the size of the spoon. Just a big old heaping teaspoon, tablespoon rather, of the mixture. I'm going to put them in the grease now. Wait until your grease gets good and hot. Otherwise, it's probably going to stick. Mine won't stick because of the kind of cookware I'm using. So, it doesn't matter with mine. So, but wait until that oil gets hot. I just stopped for some of my reason. It was already hot, y'all. Sorry about that. But anyway, my grits are doing what they need to do. I'll tell you what, while they're still heating up, I'm going to get me some uh, canned milk and pour it in here. Let's see, where are you? There it is. Um, just a little bit. You know, I pour the milk in according to what I, to the thickness. Now, these grits are nice just like they are, but I just want me a little bit of milk in there. Probably, maybe that's only a, probably a couple tablespoons because it's only a half a cup of grits, so it's not a lot. And then in the very end... I'm going to put in, see how nice and thick and smooth and creamy those are? That's the way I love them. My grits have to cook. Now, these grits say that they can cook for, they're supposed to cook for five minutes. No way. These My grits have to cook at least 45 minutes. And it's probably even more than that because I'm using this uh, cookware that cooks your food a little bit faster because it's made out of uh, a 
see what the name of the material is made. But anyway, it's made out of a, uh, made of a material mm, that holds the heat in and cooks it faster. Titanium, that's what they're made of. Titanium, I think, and porcelain. Let's go ahead and get these in. Once you get the uh, oil hot enough, you can turn that heat back down. Nobody's going to eat these but me, so I'll eat a couple of breakfast. And these freeze well, too, so if I have, you know, four of them left over, I can freeze them and then have them for another time. I want to have at least six of them in here. Yeah. Normally, a can for me makes about eight patties. But since I took some out, I won't get eight out of this bag. I'll get, I'm going to get six nice ones out of this bag. And we'll be ready to turn them here shortly. Just trying to shape them and uh, kind of mash them down a little bit. Other than that, we're just going to let them cook for about four or five minutes on each side, and then they'll be ready to come out. Put them on the plate and even with our grits. So hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, everything is cooking along nicely as you can see. The salmon is cooking. Uh, the grits are just, they're done pretty much. All I got to do now is I'm going to put some butter and cheese in them. Y'all know I got to have my cheese, have my butter and my cheese. And because I want an egg and I don't want to turn on a different skillet, I'm going to stick an egg right in the middle there here shortly and I'll just fix me a plate and I'll be done. Now I've also got my little salmon that I set to the side. I just chopped some onion in that. I'm going to turn these salmon one more time. I've turned them twice already. Well that one I think is good. No? Yeah. I don't think I need to turn them again. We're just going to let them cook just for another minute or two. Then I'm going to take them out of the oil and we're going to be ready to eat this meal. I got my um over here on the side brewing so I'm having my um, I do a uh, do herbal teas in the morning time and in the evening time I do an herbal tea got all kinds over here so just go to the health food store or wherever you know um what is it uh, TJ Maxx sells herbal teas and they're a lot cheaper than when you go other places to buy them so if you ever TJ Maxx um, I guess it's a tea section you know, back there where they have, uh, you know, candies and teas and all. They have some great teas back there. I'm going to have to get back there to buy some. I forgot about it. And then I went to the health food store. And, of course, I loaded up as usual. Mm. Okay, so, guys, I'm getting ready in a few minutes here to put my butter in. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put my butter in. And my cheese in. I'm going to put it right in the middle because basically I'm the only one that's going to eat this. Nobody else likes this in the house but me. Well, there's nobody here but Kareem and I. So, just wanted to chime in with you guys. Let y'all see what I'm doing. I'm, gonna, I'm mixing up my little um, salmon salad over here on the side because I'll have that for lunch with some crackers. But that's how mom used to serve it, or either some, let me go ahead and uh, recover my grits there, because I'm not ready to take them off yet. But as I was saying, uh, mom used to fix this salmon salad up for us, and this is just enough for, this is a good tablespoon of mayo, and my, about a good tablespoon of chopped up onions in there, and all you got to do is just this is just a little side thing that I'm doing in this little tight bowl. But don't worry about it. We'll get it done. But that's all there is to it. Just mix it up just like you do tuna. If you want to put some pickle relish in there, you can. And I'm going to stick this in the fridge. And later on this afternoon, when I want a little lunch snack or something like that, I can just reach in there and grab my salmon salad. And there you go. If you want to boil an egg and put in there, you can boil an egg and put in there if you like to. However you fix your tuna is how you're going to do this. It's the same, same, my, my mom used to say, the self-same way. It's almost like mom is in here cooking for me this morning. She got me tuna salad. 
I'm sorry, she got me salmon salad and fried salmon croquettes. So there's our little salad. We're done. Mmm, it's wonderful too. Mmm. Okay, I think we're about ready to wrap the breakfast portion of this meal up. <clears throat> and I'm going to get me a nice, let me get this out of the way. I think I'm going to go ahead and just find something and put my salmon, take my salmon out of the pan. So y'all hold on just a second. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get my salmon out of the pan. I like them nice and crispy, but not too crispy. I let them drain just a little bit. I try to get my olive oil fixed in every day. So I'm just going to drain them a little. And voila. The salmon are out of the pan, y'all. The salmon's are ready. What we're going to do here... Hot skillet off the stove. Remember I tell y'all when you get done cooking, if your oven's not hot, just stick it right in the oven. Okay, there we go. A nice little quick cleanup, y'all. Just a quick little cleanup. And we're going to get over here. And I'm going to get me a plate. And I'm going to plate me some food. Hold on just a second. Okay, guys, my meal is just about ready. Just wanted to say one thing to you. You know, uh, I don't know where you are in the throughout the country, but I know some of you in Florida, Texas, some of you up in uh, Virginia, Ohio, Boston, up in those areas, as you know, there is a nor'easter storm expected here tomorrow. So we just came off of a snowstorm, even in the Carolinas, it's supposed to reach some parts of the Carolinas, those parts that are close to our, our neighbors in Virginia. So we know the, over the weekend we're getting ready to get some more. And after all, it's winter time. I mean, that's what happens in the winter time. So we can probably expect some more um, cold, cold weather. As today, the temperature around this area, I know in Raleigh, it was like 21. So we still got some frigid, frigid weather going on already. So, uh, not that we want any stormy, snowy weather necessarily. I think once you had it one time, once is enough. As that old saying goes, for me anyway. So, anywho, if you get that uh, weather this afternoon, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, tonight or tomorrow, whenever, just be careful. If you go out, if you're out and about, if you got to be driving, you got to go to work, you know, something happens, you have to get to the doctor or whatever. Just be careful whatever you're doing about, you know, by the, the laws and the guidelines that they give you to stay safe. You know, if you don't have to be out, don't be out. The same way that we're caution about this pandemic, if you don't have to be out and about, don't. If you do have to be bundled up, uh, mask up, social distance, and most of all, hopefully you've gotten around to getting your shots by now. So, anywho, just wanted to come in and say that to y'all. Today is Thursday. We're at the end of the week, pretty much, more or less. Glad to have made it thus far. I'm doing well. Hope you are. Family is doing well. We're still doing our social distancing within our family because of the, the viruses. You know, another version of this virus is breaking out around here. So we decided we would, you know, as a family, just social distance. Um, and all of us are vaccinated pretty much. Uh, you know, immediate family around here, uh, pretty much we are. Uh, even so, we're still doing our social distances because you know what? Um, <clears throat> we don't have to be around in each other's face all the time, but it's good. You know, mama loves her children, love what she can hug them and love them. But I understand, uh, you know, for safety's sake. I, you know, I've told my children, you know, pretty much, stay home. We'll, we'll be okay. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be good. We'll do okay. Just stay home. Uh, we'll get back together as much as we eat and fellowship uh, three or four times a week. You know, in the past, is a normal, regular thing for us. Every Sunday, uh, one week or two or three is not going to hurt anything. I think it'll help. And I think the more we 
know that and learn and receive and accept that, the better off we're going to be in terms of uh, staying safe. So hopefully you all are abiding by the guidelines, the rules, the regulations, whatever. Just stay safe. Because we want, in the springtime, we want to be all uh, ready to get out and, you know, do what we like to do in the spring and summertime. So hopefully this thing will, we know it's probably going to be around for a while, but we want it to be a tolerable thing, something that we can move around in. So for the time being, be safe through the storm if you have a storm. If not, stay in if you don't have to be out. Do something good for someone. Cook you some good food. Pray without ceasing. Love on somebody that you can love on. Do so again. Always think about doing something kind for someone uh, as often as possible. The Word of God tells us to do good as often as possible. Uh, love one another as the Lord has loved us. That was his last commandment. That this, one of the last commandments that he left for us before he departed this earth is to love one another as he has loved us. And of course, the first one was have no other God before him. So we try to do that. And in doing that, we're cooking good food for folks. We send a cash app or a note or phone call. Stop by if we can, if it's safe to see somebody. Just find out how folks are doing. Okay, so what I'm getting ready to do right now, I got me a chunk of uh, that white, extremely, extremely sharp cheddar cheese. And I've got me a um, one of these little baby bell pieces of cheese I'm going to go ahead and drop it right in the middle of this pan because like I said nobody's really going to eat these grits with me so I'll fire them up to suit myself oh I had another chunk of cheese I had two chunks of cheese Ooh, let me get my butter I haven't even put my butter in there so I'm going to put about a tablespoon of butter in there mm -hmm. We're in for a treat, y'all. I want to get that cold stuff down in there because I want to put an egg right on top, y'all. So I got my butter and my cheese already in there. And like I said, I'm going to come back. I'm going to drop. I, want to, I just want to do this just because I can, y'all. Just because I can. Okay, I'm sure that's enough cheese in there. I need a little tap of salt. That's right. I put, remember, I put one eighth of a, I put an eighth of a teaspoon in already. That's the other eighth. Probably, maybe a, yeah. So I got a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm not putting a lot of salt in here. Trying to still cut back on my salt. And that's my Himalayan pink salt. I know I'm not going to break the pot, y'all. Okay, let's get in. I'm gonna put in my chunk of our. Uh, this is one of those little bluebell cheese medallions that Norik loves so much. I'm gonna get it under the grits there. Okay. Now I'm gonna take me an egg. I'm gonna crack it right in the center there. Me an egg right there. I just want one egg, y'all. Just you know, just want one egg. Put it right there. Then I am going to sprinkle it with some light pepper and a little bit of complete seasoning. That's it. Okay. Where's my complete seasoning? Yeah, just a little bit to take the edge off. A little bit of complete. There we go. Now what's going to happen, because the grits are still cooking, you probably can see them moving around. I'm going to poke like that. That. And we'll be back in a minute. Okay, y'all. I'm back. Everything is ready. I'm getting ready to plate my food. I've got my egg, as you can see. I'll let you see. Well, let's get it right here. Let's start maybe this way. You can see. Okay. The egg is on this side. It has moved. I'm going to go ahead and put me some grits right on the plate there, as you can see. Get me some grits going. 
And I want to get my egg and all. There it is. Right in the middle. There's the egg right in the middle. Right where I want it. And all my cheese. Well, maybe I'll leave some of that cheese in the pot for later. I'm, I'm not going to eat all of that. Okay. Let's see what I'm like. So, there's the grits and the eggs right in the center. Okay. And, I'm going to get my... I'm coming, I'm coming. Give me a couple pieces of salmon on here. Mmm. Yum, 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 yummy. So here we are, y'all. That is my salmon my grits and my egg right in the center of that plate doesn't it just look wonderful i'm getting ready to have a blast with this listen guys thank y'all for stopping by keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down be careful doing this uh winter storm warning continue to uh, pray without ceasing wear your mask get your vaccinations if you can and love on one another do something kind for someone until i decide to cook something again love you guys to blue.